perpendicular lines. Find the equation of the line through this point, 1, 0, and perpendicular to this line. So they give us a line, and we're supposed to come up with another line. So notice you, we write y equals mx plus b. That's like the framework for the other line. We just need to find the m and the b. So what is the relationship between perpendicular lines? The relationship lies in the slope, which is the number in front of the x. The relationship between the slopes is the following. If this is a negative 2, then you take the reciprocal, which is 1 half, and change the sign, and then you replace the m. So the relationship between slopes of perpendicular lines is that the slope of 1, you flip it around and change the sign. We say that they're negative reciprocals of each other. That's the term that's used. You flip it around, change the sign. So now we know the one half should be the slope of the other line. Now we just need to find the B. So you use the point they gave you. The first coordinate is the X, the second coordinate is the Y. Make your replacements. This X is a 1, this Y is a 0. Now solve for B. Get that B by itself. So we're going to move this 1 half over, so we subtract the 1 half. This cancels to 0. But what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So I subtract by a negative 1 half on the other side. So 0 minus 1 half is negative 1 half. So now we know that B equals negative 1 half. So you replace the B that was there, and this is the line that's perpendicular to the one they gave us at the beginning. This was the given line, and this is the one we found, such that these are perpendicular to each other. And this line goes to the given point. Here's another problem. Find the equation of the line through this point and perpendicular to the given line. And this is the line they're giving us, and we would like to find another line that's perpendicular to this one and goes to this point. So the first step, go ahead and graph this line. This is x equals negative 4. So go through 1, 2, 3, 4. This is negative 4. This line has an equation of x equals negative 4. The point they gave us is this one. So the other line has to go through this point and be perpendicular to this one. So it would have to be this line. This line is perpendicular to x equal negative 4, and it goes to this point. And what is this line? Well, notice these are levels. We're going up and down. So this would be y equals 0 level, right? This would have been y equal 1, y equal 2. So this is y equals 0. That line that goes through the x-axis cuts the y at 0. So this line and this line are perpendicular, and the line that we found goes to the point that they gave us. 